Hey everyone, this is going to be a small sample of PlayStation 2 emulation. Right now you're seeing Shadows of Colossus. Uh, speed isn't that great. Right now I'm going around... Come on, hop on him. What are you doing? Right now I'm going around uh, 40 frames a second, 43 frames a second. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can see that up here. So you can see him if it would focus. There we go. So you can see it's 42 frames a second. Right now I'm using um, Speed Hacks, the preset. I'm going at the uh, 4 at aggressive. Um, I'm using multi core, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be all that great. Mostly I'm at 40 frames a second. I tried disabling sound as well to see if that would change things, but it doesn't look like it is. Yeah, so that's not good. Um, Alright, so let me pause it real quick and I'm going to start up another game. Alright, so this is just the FMV sequence, so this playing at 100%, 60 frames a second, isn't really impressive. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. I'm going to pause it again just so that we can get past this F FMV stuff. You know, as I was looking, well, watching this FMV sequence that I can't skip, I was thinking with Shadows of Colossus running at like 40 frames a second, that eh, still wouldn't matter. Because the PAL version would run at 50 frames a second, so it would be far more playable, but we still wouldn't be anywhere near, near ideal. I truly believe that once uh, the PlayStation 2 emulation has uh, either a Vulkan or DX12 backend, we're going to be in a much better place with PS2 emulation on the GPD win. Anyway, I'm going to pause it again. Alright, now we're actually getting into the game being rendered. And it is actually playing at 60 frames. So Kingdom Hearts might actually be, uh... Might actually be kind of playable on the GPD win. Is my... Hold on. It looks like my... Oh, use the directional pad, not the analog sticks. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Looks like Kingdom Hearts is actually kind of uh, playable. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go for the sword. Sure, why not? <laughs> Maybe not. Still hitting at 60 frames. Still at full 100%. I'd really like to just start, you know, getting getting bigger scenes run here. All right. All right, hold on, I'm going to pause it again just so I can pass all this crap. Actually, this part's pretty cool. Oh, of course, as soon as I start doing the battle stuff, which is all super smooth, 
goes away. Although we are not rendering a whole bunch. Alright, pausing again so that we can pass, fast forward this. Alright, looks like we're going to make some headway here into some actual gameplay. And hopefully we can maintain uh, 60 frames. Looks like uh looks like we can totally hit sixty frames. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we're sticking to sixty frames pretty nice on this. So that's pretty sweet. So uh looks like Kingdom Hearts is uh I mean, run great. Alright, so um, I'm going to be playing another game right now, which is... Um, someone asked me to play it, so it's Mercenaries. Give me a moment while I set it up. Alright, this is already, like, super bad. Hopefully I can just, like, start up a new game as soon as possible. This is, the main menu is running at 10 frames a second. This doesn't look like it's... Did this like <laughs> it showed like a Kingdom Hearts box? Am I running two things at once here? No, it's well, this loading screen's going at sixty frames a second. Let's just hope that it was the uh, the main menu that was kind of being a little bit too taxing. Nope. Right back down the team 10 frames a second. So a lot of it looks like it's gonna be kind of hit and miss I'm gonna try some uh, 2d PS2 games as well. I wanted to kind of just uh, do the 3d games here um, This is totally not playable, but Kingdom Hearts is playable. So that's uh, a big plus I'll play some 2d ones soon if you want to see any other uh, 2d PlayStation 2 games, just leave a leave a note in the comment section and I'll try to accommodate. Uh, so this is going to be the three portion of the PlayStation 2 stuff. Anyway, it's positive that Kingdom Hearts works, so at least a little bit of good news.